it. And now I have choices. So mission four, mission six, or mission five. We can tackle them in any order. However, I think I'm just going to be going in numerical order for this playthrough. So let's head on to mission four, flak attack. Enemy planes attack from the sea. Can the ground forces repel them? Well, we're going to have to hope so. The troop deployment is complete. Uh, look at what we have here. Max's little toy soldiers. I'm going to enjoy this. Uh, sir? The, uh, the unauthorized use of troops, uh, that is, the use of troops for personal vendettas is, is uh... What was that, worm? You gonna tell me how to behave on the battlefield? No way that Max guy is getting away with what he did to me, and as long as I pound him and his troops into the ground, who cares what the rules say? Say goodnight, Maximum Dumb. Seriously, his hand placement is just so weird and so creepy to me. Uh. Max, look out, we're under attack. Hmm. What? Battlecopters and bombers? I see their plan. They're coming in with an air assault, aren't they? Uh. This doesn't look good. My troops are still recovering from that last bout, and infantry versus planes isn't the best matchup to begin with. Huh. No worries, Sammy. I'll handle this one. I'm coming with you. At least I can offer some advice that way together we can get through this. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Alright, let's take common survey the scene. Do you want any strategic advice on those air units? Yes. Okay, the key here is taking out this enemy fighter jet, but before it, before it can hurt our air units. Fighter jets have a huge movement range, can, can fire on any flying unit they are adjacent to, but they are useless against ground forces. Let me show you their power. Select this fighter jet. Now we need to target the enemy fighter jet, first in order to maintain air superior, superiority. I'll target from down here. Fighter jets rule the skies. Helicopters and bombers can't even fire on them, so always keep them at a safe distance away. Now let's take a look at the bombers. Select this unit. The copters, right? Select the bombers so I can show you what I what it can do. Oh, you meant the mech unit because you're the infantry specialist. I got it. All right, fine. Bombers can only attack adjacent ground units, but they deal massive damage, and most units can't even retaliate. Let's take out the enemy tank unit here to make it safe for our troops to move up. Move it adjacent to attack. And it's so powerful, especially with Max at the helm, that it basically just wiped out those tanks in one go. Bombers are great gr against ground units, but they can't fire on other air units. They aren't even good against medium tank, or they are, they're even good against medium tanks, so watch out for them. Once I get close, my battle copters and anti-air units are direct co combat units, so we'll bring the pain. Well, let's go make some noise. Uh-huh. You know, I had my doubts, but it looks like it's all coming back to you. Don't worry. I'll get you home without a scratch. Now it's time to light up the skies, but you owe me for this. Alright. Let's move you guys up here to start capturing this property. As you can see, we got a couple of bombers coming our way, as well as a good uh, number of battlecopters. So we're going to need to strategically place our units, and as you can see, the bombers got a good range to them. So in accordance to this, I say the best place for us to put our missiles is right here. And then we kind of need to funnel our units into... Uh, range, so let's put you right here, we'll put you right here, and we'll put you right here. Move you over here, move you up here, and you, I don't 
think you can... Okay, yeah, you can. So let's move you right here. He decided to take the scenic route. We've just been told we're not authorized to use bombers nor fighter jets, sir! Come on. Uh, too much pencil pushing. Who needs authorization in the heat of battle? They're just sitting there, waiting to be used. Uh, sir? Hey. Uh, we're lacking soldiers to train to use them! Trained? Ah, uh, heck, I'll train them myself then. Get over here, you lackeys, and pay attention. You gotta watch a fuel with air units. They burn two units of fuel per day. And an air unit without fuel gets a one-way trip to Crash Town, got it? <laughs> other than that, it's like any other unit. Hop inside and smash anything in front of you. Now get going! Yes, sir! Delta Squad, move out! They're not even going to attempt to attack those anti-air units. All right, not as much damage as I was hoping for. This is gonna hurt, though. Even though we are using anti-air units. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, then. Luck really was on flat side this turn, that's for damn sure. All right, biggest threat right now is that bomber. So let's focus on taking that thing out first and foremost. There we go. Let's move you guys over here and we'll attack the battle copters. Can't really. I wanted to try and target that, but unfortunately I can't. So let's just continue capturing this city right here. Commander! Commander, we recovered this in the city we captured. Oh, no. What's this supposed to be? Sure. Hey, that looks like... Yes, that's a map of an enemy lab. Mm. Look behind a map? Actually, my troops have been ordered to find the lab on this map. How convenient. It seems that Black Hole has these labs scattered here and there. Reports say they're research centers for some new weapon development. Mm. Here and there? So there are labs like this in Gold Common and Blue Moon? We're not completely sure, they're hidden and all, which is why we need maps like this to help us search for them, or search them out. I want our allies to get this intel to Nell. At the very least, we'll pin down the lab here in Orange Star. After we're through here, we should be able to proceed to the lab via the campaign map screen. Alright, so that's another thing that was introduced into this, is uh, hidden maps for bonus missions. In every campaign, there is a map hidden in a specific level. It's always the same level in every playthrough, and it's the same location. You just need to figure out where it is in the first place. Alright, for the time being, uh, let's see. That will probably come back to bite me, so let's move you down here to heal up. Let's move our fighter over here to take out the fighter suit before they go after the bombers. Let's use you to take out the helicopters that are right here. And we'll finish off you guys with my battlecopters. Alright, nothing really stands on our way now. Our missiles will be able to handle the bomber when it inevitably comes to attack our anti-air unit. So for right now, uh, I'm actually going to use my bomber as a makeshift blockade for the bridge. Let's move you guys right here and let's move you guys right here. Rushing stuff's what I do best. Uh-oh. This is going to hurt a lot. Barbaric blow. I do like, like, the earthquake sound every time he does Barbaric Blow. Ugh, luck was on his side this time. Uh-oh. All 
right. Thankfully, we lucked out here. I'm gonna guess the bomber's probably gonna go for the anti-air unit. Yep. Please let luck be on my side. All right. Pretty lucky that time. Alright, now it's time for us to use our Super Seal power ourselves. Let's go! You're gonna get hurt! With Max Blast. I actually had to remember what the name of it was. Max Blast! Forty-three damage, sixty-eight, sixty-eight. Let's just focus on you. Yeah. Oh, they serve me well, at least. Actually, you know what? I probably should have used these on the other battle copter squadron and use the anti-air to take out this one. Oh well. Well, it was worth a shot, at least. Yeah, you. Down it goes. That doesn't really do anything, so I'm gonna move you guys back here. I'm gonna I'll keep you in the city for X protection. But for the time being, let's focus on getting these anti-airs taken care of. This mission's actually pretty hard to get an S rank in because it's all reliant on luck. Yeah, you're going to go for the bomber, so I'll have you guys go up here to take out the infantry. Yep, just as I thought, go for the bomber. Not how I wanted that to go. Honestly, that was worst case scenario. Really worst case scenario. Actually got me in a bit of a pickle here. I see your power is nowhere near uh, full at this time. That barbaric blow actually really came back to bite me because I don't really have a, a way to defend myself now. My mech units are having wiped out, and the bomber is. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I could try to lure it down here and maybe try to buff my units enough that they can take it out. Oh dear. Ah, 
I'm gonna have to hope for the best with this. Hmm. Yeah, I think I've actually failed this mission. It's weird, I never fail this mission. it really close here. I am honestly surprised that that thing is still in the air. The only way to attack it is from below. Alright, let's do this and weaken it a little bit more. Alright, that's one down. I think I might have been able to pull victory out of the Jaws of Defeat. We're probably going to lose our copters here, but at least it'll be weak enough to... Oh, no, it's it's not dead yet. But now he's got to choose between one of three. If he attacks the infantry, then retaliation should be enough to take it out. I'm going to put the fighter behind you so you cannot run away. Is he actually... No, he's not doing anything. How much ammo do you have anyways? You got three more shots to you. All right, let's take you out. And finish you off and actually be done with this mission. I'm honestly surprised I was able to pull victory. Man. That, that super seal power move of his, that gamble really paid off for Flack. How's that, Sammy? Not a scratch anywhere. Dude, don't mind the burning wreckage that was our ground forces and all the dead bodies of our Orange Star troops. Yeah, not a scratch. Not a scratch. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Max. But what about your troops? <laughs> eh, this is nothing. My troops eat this stuff for breakfast. <sighs> Dang it all. This ain't going like I planned. Yo, Flack, you had enough yet, buddy? Uh. <laughs> What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? No. Don't get cocky just because you got lucky today. Lucky? Yeah, right. <laughs> no one can stop the black hole invasion. You'll see. Soon, you and your little girlfriend will be begging for mercy with those smart mouths of yours. We'll meet again, Max. And next time, your luck's going to run out. Girlfriend? What does he think he is, black hole goons? Not an ounce of decency in any of them. Yeah, but they're never gonna take Orange Star. Not while we're here. Sammy, Max, are you alright? Huh? The battle's already over. Hey there, Nell. You're just in time to join the victory celebration. I'll defend this country with every muscle I'm made of. Uh, yeah, that technique really came to bite us in the end. Man, it really is hard, especially with an unpredictable character as Flack.